best wishes it's a one hour test thank you ma'am much needed <laughs> one hour test it's not your uh, you know the marks which will be reflected on your uh, certificates but then to yes it will be considered for successful completion yes so all the best wishes everyone one hour 30 questions one marks each okay so i have is there a passing marks 50 percent weightage is given for successful completion all together okay so i have posted the link everyone please see the link is posted in the chat I hope you all can see. Okay. Yes. Yes. Please start.
ஹலோ நத்திகா மேம் ஹலோ ஹலோ நத்திகா மேம் ஹலோ நத்திகா மேம் ஆரியது ஒரு <laughs> you got a message thanks for the responses hello yes sir i have got that message your response has been recorded but again the one, link one, is one minute one, one minute madam well, let me just talk to her one second
Hello. Good afternoon, participants. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, yes, good yes, afternoon. yes. So I'll be just reading out the names whose uh, responses have been uh, received. Okay. So uh, those whose uh, responses have been received, you all can join in at 3.30 p.m. for the valedictory function. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yes. So, uh, we have uh, received the responses of uh, Dr. Prajakta Jadav, Santosh Kumar, Dr. G. Gayatri, Harold Joseph, Rinki, Sachin Lad, Masuma, Mansi Sadanand, Professor Deepa Manoj, Miss Rashpal Kaur, Mayang Detia, Mr. Ravi Rakesh, Prachi, Charmi Panchal, Dr. P. John C. Rose, Mrs. Selsa Sweetin, Dr. Prakash Dash, Dr. Kiran Latha, Janartan R., Milita Rego, C. A. Tanya, Miss Jeenal Latya, Dr. Mugdha, Deepa Prajapati, Miss Swati, Simran, Tilokchand, Suvarna Raikar, Dr. Badil, Anish Kumar, Priyanka Dvivedi, Sanchayata Banerjee, Rosie Murray, Dr. Vijay Vag, Mega Goel, Dr. Selina Joy, Priyam Vada, Dr. Prajakta Santosh Kumar. So these are the responses we have received till now. Ma'am, I have submitted now. This is Neha. Uh, yes, ma'am. It will take some time, ma'am. So, uh, so these are the names who have submitted. So you all can join it at... Three thirty PM for the valedictory function. We can stay on the call, na? Yes, ma'am. You can stay on the call. Okay, we don't have to log in. Yeah. Thank you.
हेलो कैथरीन हेलो मिस कैथरीन यस मैम यू हैव नॉट स्टार्टेड द क्विज येट Yes, ma'am. I just saw the message. Sorry, I was down for lunch. I just saw the message. Okay, fine. I will send you the link now. Please thank finish you, it. Yes, yes, thank those who have not started the quiz the quiz link has been shared again kindly please submit the quiz the quiz link has been shared again those who have not submitted please do it hello i'm reading the names again those have submitted now so we have uh, neha kotari ca dimple ca manish kumar gupta uh, shifali jain rahima haik ivon dr sanskruti monica miss ritu shraddha savla and tamanna so these are the participants who have submitted the quiz
हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून नटिका मैडम हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल मैडम 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 हेलो सर माय सेल्फ त्रिलोक चंद जादे रे आई हैव आल्सो सबमिटेड सर प्लीज कंफर्म
or on the get up. Hello.
आहे बघ जरा असं करा आहे की मुलं काय आली नाही माणसा प्रवास नाही म्हणतात तीन आठवड्यापूर्वी सुरेश वास्तुशांती रविवारी भेट झाली होती पुण्यात आहे मुंबईत होतो दोन वर्ष ते कोरोना काळात परत आल्यावर काय मी गेलोच नाही संदीप च माझ फोनवर वरचेवर बोलणं असतंय आता संदीप सिल्वासाला आहे ना सिल्वासा म्हणून एरिया आहे मुंबई दादरा नगर हवेली एरियाच आहे तो आहे माझा त्याचा संपर्क असतोय वरचेवर शनिवार आणि रविवार सलग दोन दिवस उपवास झालता ना त्याचा नाही उपवासामुळे अंगातली ताकद कमी पडली तोल गेला
હેલો હેલો નથી કા મેમ વેન વિલ બી વેલિડિક્ટ ફંક્શન હેલો
validatory is at 330. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, you can take a break of 10 minutes yeah. and uh, y'all can join at 3.30. Okay. Y'all can please feel the meanwhile. We'll just start in a few minutes our validatory function. We are waiting for some of our participants to join.
स्मिता मैम आर वी रेडी हेलो स्मिता मैम आर वी रेडी फॉर दैलिडेटरी सेशन डॉक्टर स्मिता गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर लास्ट डे फॉर दैलिडेटरी प्रोग्राम I welcome our director, Dr. Shalini Sina, our deputy director, Dr. G. Ramesh, and all my other participants in this six days FDP program to this validatory program. Before we begin with the validatory program, I would invite some of the participants to share their reflections on their journey. on their journey of the 6 days fdp program which they attended at st francis institute of management and research in collaboration with mtc global i first would like to invite ms ritu if she can just give her some reflection feedback on this 6 days fdp program sure ma'am um, i hope i'm audible good afternoon uh, everyone you can have uh, your video on so sure, that you can take some of these screenshots yeah sure ma'am definitely i hope i'm visible yes ma'am you are great uh so very good afternoon to each one of you uh, respected director ma'am uh, deputy director the organizers natika ma'am and all my fellow colleagues uh it is indeed a pleasure to be a part of this fdp of 6 days with eight insightful uh, resource persons uh the journey was very interesting for the simple reason that being a researcher being a phd student where i have we have to do lot of uh, research uh, so these tools it helped us not only in our research areas as to how do we go about it uh, giving us hands on experience to different softwares asking us to install work hand by hand and at the same time as a evaluator as a teacher how do you go about evaluating people uh, in uh, students basically uh, so different online tools pedagogies were also told to us like quizzes was there and you know how do we recreate our uh, question uh, mcqs make the class more interactive so these sessions were i mean like in a six days if i have to say was a indeed a very learning session uh coming to research yes there were so many tools which we were not aware of uh to do our literature review in a much more systematic and an organized manner that was uh, you know brought to our uh, you know experience uh, also coming to the fact that now the buzzword is ai so everybody is talking about ai so the last session i think practically around 40 plus ai uh, related tools is what we went through going through and having an experience of these ai tools uh, must mention the key buzzword is power bi and uh, you know using these tools so i think uh, it really enhanced our learning experience worth every bit of time which we invested in this resource so i really thank the organizers in francis institute for really giving us this opportunity of going through this particular session thank you so much thank you ma'am i now invite dr anupama to kindly give a reflection on the 6 days program hello uh, madam am i audible yes ma'am yeah i have some problem with my video but i'll just i would okay, like okay. to share my views so okay. very good afternoon uh, distinguished organizers my colleague and fellow participants i'm really honored to have opportunity to speak on behalf of the participants of this uh, enriching 6 days online faculty development program on icd tools for teaching and research in higher education first and foremost i extend my heartfelt gratitude to the organizers san francis institute of management and research and mtc global for their exceptional efforts in putting together such an informative and well structured program the meticulous planning and execution were really evident in every session ensuring that we gain the maximum benefit from this experience over the past 6 days uh, we have been exposed to wealth of knowledge and uh, practical insight into the latest icd tools that are really revolutionizing for a researcher and it has really empowered us to manage uh, data more effectively and uh, more to say about it i would uh, uh, reflecting on how research 
was conducted in past years it is simply amazing to see the progress we have made with the use of ict in teaching and special in research in the past i still remember uh, when i have done my phd in 2006 15 years back hypothesis testing data analysis were manually intensive process and researchers had to meticulously collect data often by hand no google form sheets and then spend countless hours analyzing it without the aid of modern computational tools and uh, now the entire manual process how it has evolved and changed with the advent of ict tools and this fdp is nothing but really extraordinarily helped us they have transformed the learning experience by sessions taken by mr dhawal mehta on ai tools for research data visualization tools for using power bi by shruti nigam madam referencing tools by papinder nagi really for uh, new researchers and phd guys this learning hands on training are incredibly beneficial and we have learned uh, ict tools which has shown uh, automation of complex data analysis enabling uh, uh, researchers to focus more on the mechanics of data processing and how we can focus on interpretation implications really this uh, online fdp has facilitated even a collaboration among researchers from uh, different parts of the state and country even breaking down the geographical barriers and uh, really it is a benefiting to a research community so uh, and i'm really thankful that it has provided access to all resources database and providing video recordings also which is definitely going to enhance the quality of our research and uh, lastly i i would like to uh, just uh, thank uh, I, i extend my gratitude to dr natika poddar madam for taking thank care of each and every participant providing video recording every day and bring with us throughout the session she was there throughout the session for all six days it has been a pleasure with you ma'am and i would also like to thank the technical team for ensuring a smooth and uninterrupted online experience and their behind the scene efforts really ensured that we could focus on learning without any technical glitches so uh, in conclusion this fdp has been a transformative experience for all of us it has equipped us with the knowledge and skills needed to navigate and thrive in the research and now we have to take this further to the students and effectively use in our classroom teaching and research thanks again to all the organizers thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am it means a lot thank you ma'am now i invite uh, professor shamta to kindly share her reflection on this six days fdp program yes shamta ma'am ma'am we are not able to hear you good afternoon everyone uh, am i audible yes yes ma'am yes ma'am go ahead please go ahead yeah uh, so first of all let me just congratulate all the organizers for doing such a wonderful research behind finding the best resource person for every need of today's researcher being an accommodation for the last so many years now i know Uh, when we as accommodations are told to do research so the first uh, uh, what you call a shortcoming that we face is time because we have a lot of teaching us to complete a lot of admin us to complete and then uh, having such sessions enabled with wonderful ai techniques which we know that now with these ai techniques we can make our work smart easy and yes of course with a very uh, fine touch of perfection and that's what it has been the last 6 days they have been simply perfect i uh, if i start taking names of all the resource person it will be to just add a few things about all the resource people that had spoken that had interacted with us in spite of it being a very um, online or a session on zoom meetings just the interaction level that the teachers or those resource people also took care was tremendously commendable they took efforts to make us interactive they took efforts to take feedback from us live things from us ki what are the uh, problems that you are facing one thing that i uh, would also like to note in my reflection on my feedback uh, this thing i have seen for the first time i mean all the online sessions that i have taken that every day uh, the participants were given a time to do their practice 
that is really 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 wonderful it helped at least me and i am sure i'm speaking from many of us that are in the meeting right now it helped us a lot because the sessions that were happening on that day and then in the evening part even if it's one hour it's very helpful for us to just look back okay what happened in the entire day we might not get 100% but we are at least 30 40% there we know how to walk now now running is in our hands now this our speed whatever we can take it to and that's that's truly 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 all all credit goes to all the resource people and of course to all the organizers for bringing such wonderful resource people uh, to one such session six days fdp it was a very very valuable uh, thing that we are taking and we are sure uh, we will definitely implement this in our journey putting forward i personally got a lot of input for my research to take forward i am so pursuing my phd right now and i am on the stage of this uh, where i could take i was literally writing notes of every small tidbit that was given in every session uh, my special uh, because of course from the organizer side we as participants were only uh, vocal or audible to the uh, one person cm dr ratika podar wonderful work ma'am it's really really great thank to have connected so with you on this platform thank you and so thank much. you so much thank you thank you it means a lot and last we have ca shepali jain to share a reflection on the six days ftp program Shefali, ma'am. I guess she. Yeah, one minute, just one minute. Just, just one minute. Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, actually, I was on my way back home, so uh, I could not. Not uh, a problem, ma'am. You can go ahead. So for this uh, training session, I would say that it was a wonderful training session, and in fact, we are uh, we belong to the academic wing of ICAI, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, which is the largest accounting body in the world, and uh, we. Cater to more than eight lakh students and four lakh members, and that is a huge students and uh, members base. But and that is why we require so much of the inputs from which can make our work easy. So we have uh, we need to publish our study materials, uh, mock test papers, revision test papers for the students, and then we have to uh, take the live virtual classes. Also, we conduct the virtual classes for the students. so because we are not we cannot reach them uh, on in person so these ai tools they help us a lot in uh, making these power powerpoint presentations more quickly and in a much better manner so for example the gama app and the canva app which we learned on the very first day that was very useful and we found it that uh, that will help us in making it more lucrative more connecting with the students and students will definitely find it more uh you know interesting and engaging so that was there then in fact lot many apps uh the power bi and table i w app which were there so they were for the data visualization report generation we do and in organization and for chartered accountants it's a great app which can be used that was there then uh the quizzes app which we learned and to this these were just to name few almost every session which we had it taught us something new and unique which we which we were not aware earlier and uh, before the session we were aware of some ai tools but it gave us an extensive range of ai tools extensive uh, the uh, features and facilities characteristics which we have in ai with us and in fact i would like to compliment all the faculty members who taught us everybody was very helpful they were if all the sessions were interactive they gave, gave us hands on experience and in fact when we asked the queries some of the queries could be silly also but they were very patient and in answering them in helping us out with our queries with our doubts wherever we found any problem so sessions were very interactive very helpful i would compliment all the faculty all the teachers and in fact last not but last but not the least natika you so you helped us a lot <laughs> in fact on the very first day i had a doubt regarding the recorded sessions 
and yes. i was you were there you were very forthcoming you helped me with that and that helped us in getting those recorded sessions because we had some problem with the email id but i would compliment that you helped us you uh, go over the mile to give us the new email id get the new email id from us and gave the recorded sessions on that email id so thank you so much for this interactive session this will definitely these sessions this training will help us in discharging our day to day functions in a much much better manner thank you to the sense friends princess institute also thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank you so much for your words of appreciation now it's my honor and privilege to introduce our deputy director dr g ramesh dr g ramesh is an alumnus of i am indore holds post graduate degree in science and business administration he also holds post graduate diploma in human resources masters in philosophy and phd in marketing Dr. G. Ramesh is also UGC NET qualified and has undergo an executive ex education program at I M Indu. Sir is an industry veteran in the field of defense, PR, marketing, and is currently in the higher education, uh, higher higher management management education, and together he has over more than thirty years of service experience. Dr. G. Ramesh is currently a professor. and deputy director at st francis institute of management and research he is also currently holding an additional responsibility as a phd research center at st francis institute of management and research so he is awarded with the chief of air staff indian air force and aoc inc western air command indian air force so he is also associated with various industry and institution in various capacities to name few project consultant with sri o2 tubes mi limited gujarat project consultant with technosoft software and security systems mumbai so has also being the part of the consultancy team with bharat petroleum uh, indian oil and many more without further ado we welcome you sir and we invite you to please proceed and give the words of appreciation for this 6 days fdp program over to you sir thank you dr latika uh, am i audible yes sir okay uh, i think it's 4 o'clock yeah a very good evening to all present here in the online mode uh, respected direct ma'am dr shalini sinha uh, my colleagues dr natika padda dr smita jis dasan and uh, the uh, various uh, participants from various states of india as well as international i think uh, some participants are from international also and there are some research scholars are also there it's my uh, indeed a pleasure uh, first of all thank uh, thanks to dr natika for uh, elaborating my credentials uh, which is which is basically uh, learning also from my side because over the 30 plus years of experience a lot of things have been learned it's my pleasure and uh, um, you know um, pride to be a part of this uh, wonderful program in fact excellent program as narrated by the participants of uh, this program in their reflections and uh, be uh, given an opportunity to deliver this uh, appreciation note as a part of this valedictory session uh, it's in, in fact uh, before uh, you know extending this valedictory uh, this appreciation note very briefly i would like to uh, reflect on uh, the uh, introductory session which is given by uh, our director i think shalini madam had indicated about that objective of this particular fdp the objective of this fdp uh, covers three e's the first e is enrichment second e is uh, enhancement and third e is uh, the enablement that means enriching enabling and enhancement now this enrichment is basically to foster uh, three important things one is uh, the integration of technology with uh, participation participants engagement and critical thinking that's the first objective second objective is to enable the participants to have or to impact or impart high quality research by leveraging technology and collaborative platforms the third one is the enhancing the participants through the digital learning literacy skills by utilizing various technological tools and resources i'm sure the six days right from 27th Uh, may onwards till today that is first june 2024 the learnings the experience which uh, the participants have gained 
uh, is actually uh, enormous and it is very clear through the testimonials given by or reflected by the participants, the three of them who excellently you know, narrated their experience. I think it, it encompassed or encapsulated all the participants' reflections together. And uh, the different learnings through uh, different sessions uh, encompassing assessment tools, presentation tools, uh, artificial intelligence tools for smart teaching, then you have collaborative and interactive tools, gamifications, audiovisual tools, literature review and citation tools, referencing tools, data visualization tools using Power BI, then AI tools for research and software uh, for the data analysis, and many more. In fact, these uh, were uh, are taken by different resource persons, uh, handpicked by the organizers, uh, including uh, Dr. Natika Padar and Dr. Smita Jesudasan. And I think uh, that also came in, in the reflection that the resource, resource, resource person's effort to, to put up across the maximum you know, learnings to their research uh, participants uh, in their research in the higher education level. So uh, without uh, you know, uh, taking it further, I just wanted to give a quote. The quote says that so many of our dreams at first seem impossible, then they seem improbable. And then when we summon the will, they seem, they soon become inevitable. It is given by uh, the famous actor and uh, producer and director, Christopher Reeve, which says very clearly that whatever has been done, it becomes an inevitable thing because uh, the learnings which are done through is uh, done with uh, effort, not just for the sake of doing it. There is a reason behind uh, with an specific objectives. And I'm sure that all the three E's in the objectives have been fulfilled. So I take this opportunity to appreciate the, uh, the 86 participants, including the two uh, international participants, the faculty members, our internal faculty members and the research scholars who have taken the pain to you know, complete this particular program successfully. I also take this opportunity to uh, appreciate the resource persons. Uh, I would like to name them. Of course, uh, Dr. Smita will be uh, giving them individual vote of thanks. Dr. Lakshmi, Mr. Shrikant, Dr. Ritesh, Mr. Rajit Patil, Mr. Bharat, Dr. Vimal Geralt, Ms. Papinder Nahi, Ms. Shruti Nikam, Mr. Dawal Mehta, and of course, our own Dr. Natika and Dr. Smita. So this is on behalf of uh, the chairman of the Institute, uh, Reverend Brother Rons Nesamani, our director, Dr. Uh, Shalini Sinha, our registrar, Reverend Brother Xavier Munda, myself, all, part, all faculty members, our students and staff, take this opportunity to appreciate their efforts, which are which uh, the efforts not to leave any stone unturned to make this particular program so grand and so successful. And only one line I would like to say, this is repeated in every conference, every FTP program, every training program, as was also reflected in one of the participants' reflection that it is not only the learning, this needs to be applied, it needs to be taken through. We need to not just talk the walk, but we need to walk the talk. That's very important. We can take it to the uh, footprint of the students community as well as to the individual uh, researchers to apply and then get the actual learning impactful in the higher research in the higher education research and i take this opportunity to thank uh, the organizers to giving me this opportunity and i wish all the best wishes to all the participants for attending this program and completing it successfully thank you so much thank you thank you so much sir for this kind word, for those kind words of for those kind words of appreciation. Thank you so much, sir. I now invite Dr. Smita Jesudasan to kindly propose the vote of thanks. Just a minute, uh, Dr. Natika. I would also, you know, uh, if uh, I don't extend my appreciation on behalf of uh, the director and all others, uh, special appreciation as it was reflected by the participants also to Dr. Natika Padar. I think uh, virtually all of you can give a big round of applause to Dr. Natika Padar for uh, you know putting up this uh, valiant effort, and so I'm sure good. this she will con keep continuing to do so. Thank you sure, so much. Sir. So thank you so much for believing in me and giving me the opportunity to organize it. And uh, I would uh, you know I would uh, thank the entire team. It's not a one man show. It's the entire team. The entire team was working behind the scene. Yes. So thank you so much. Director, ma'am, thank you so much, Ramesh, and even our chairman, Brother Alphonse Nesimi. Thank, thank you. you. So, Smita, ma'am, kindly propose the vote of thanks. 
Yes. Uh, thank you, Dr. Natika. Yes. As the saying goes, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it. And this is very apt from a faculty perspective. On behalf of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, I extend my heartfelt thanks to MTC Global, a global think tank in higher education, for their invaluable collaboration in organizing the one-week faculty development program on ICT tools for teaching and education in higher research. I am deeply grateful to Professor Bolenath Datta for delivering his keynote address during the inauguration of the FDP. My sincere appreciation goes to our chairman, Brother Alphonse Nesmani, Registrar, Brother Xavier Munda, Director, Dr. Shalini Sinha, and Deputy Director, Dr. G. Ramesh, for their unwavering support, assistance, encouragement, and guidance. Special mention of Dr. Shalini Sinha for welcoming the virtual audience during the inauguration, and Dr. G. Ramesh for his words of appreciation during the valedictory function. Also, special appreciation to the program coordinator, Dr. Natika Puddar, for her meticulous planning, orientation, and flawless execution of the faculty development program. I also extend my heartfelt gratitude to our support staff, Mr. Abhishek Vengulekar, Ms. Chaya Salyan, Mr. Prakash Lalwani, and the IT team for their efforts, support, and technical arrangements that contributed to the success of the faculty development program. I would like to express my gratitude to all the resource persons of the One, work, one Week FDP for their invaluable contribution. Firstly, Dr. Lakshmi D. Thank you for your insightful session on assessment tools, collaborative and interactive tools. Your expertise has provided us with practical approaches to enhance student engagement and evaluate learning outcomes effectively. Second, Mr. Srikant, we appreciate your comprehensive session on presentation tools. Your practical tips and techniques have equipped us with the skills to create more visually compelling and impactful presentations. Third, Dr. Ritesh Kumar, your session on gamification was truly enlightening. Thank you for showing us how to integrate game-based learning strategies to make education more engaging and enjoyable to our students. Fourth, Mr. Ajit Patil, thank you for your informative session on audiovisual tools. Your guidance on leveraging multimedia resources will significantly enhance our teaching methodologies and student understanding. Mr. Bharat S., we are grateful for your session on literature review and citations. Your detailed exploration of research methods and citation practices will help us maintain academic integrity and improve our scholarly work. Ms. Papinder Negi, your session on referencing tools was extremely helpful. Thank you for introducing to various tools that will simplify the process of managing references and bibliographies. Ms. Shruti Nigam, we deeply appreciate your session on data visualization tools and Power BI. Your practical demonstration has equipped us with the skills to present it more in a visual form and comprehensible manner. Dr. Daval Mehta, thank you for your insightful session on AI tools in research and software for data analysis. Your expertise has opened our eyes to the potential 
of AI in enhancing research efficiency and data analysis accuracy. All the resource speakers' interactive demonstration and hands-on sessions have greatly enriched our knowledge. It is now our responsibility to apply what we have learned to enhance our research, knowledge, course planning, and delivery. So as Dr. G. Ramesh quoted, the first EI has been done during the six days FDP. The next two E's depend on us to take it forward. Lastly, I extend my thanks to all the participants and the attendees of the Faculty Development Program for their involvement, valuable sessions, continuing interest and feedback. A warm thank you to each and every one. Thank you, Dr. Smita. Uh, last, we would just like to inform all the participants by the end of the next week, we would be able to mail you all the certificate or latest by 10th of June, you all can expect your successful completion of certificate based on the parameters as we indicated of quiz, attendance and your participation via submission of the feedback. Also by 10th of uh, June, in 10, 15 days, another by 10th of June, you will be able to receive even the receipt of the payment via mail. So we will be sending these two things by 10 to 15 days. Just allow us some time to evaluate your submissions. So with this, we come to the end of our this six days FDP program. Thank you everyone for your cooperation. And we have also shared the overall feedback in the chat box. Your valuable suggestions will help us to improve in our coming near future endeavors. So please fill the overall feedback as well. I now request everyone to kindly rise for the national anthem. Uh, uh, Dr. 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 Nathika, yes, we can sir. have a group photo, virtual group. Photo. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, okay, we'll have now. I was about to do after the. Uh, national national anthem. Anthem. Yeah, yeah, we can do it now also. Okay. So, uh, if I request just to see, can I just stop sharing? I request everyone to please on their cameras. Uh, so national anthem we will do in some time, Shripat sir, after the group photo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So please, I request everyone to kindly on their cameras. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, just a second. लवकर या फोटो घेताय या लवकर या की सर बस जाणार या या लवकर या प्रणाली मॅम सांग ओके सो यस सम टेक्निकल इश्यूज बाब टाइम इज समय नो नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम मॅम यस अह ऑन द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट फ्रेम इफ वी कॅन हॅव द पार्टिसिपेंट्स टू प्लीज ऑन देयर कॅमेराज दीपा मॅम Catherine, ma'am, Kiran, ma'am, if you all can please on. If they're not switching on, means they're not online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. We now request everyone to kindly rise at their respective place for the national anthem. Just a second. Uh, uh, sound, I guess, is audible. No, ma'am. No, it is not audible. Okay, we can just sing. Janagan. Yeah, please, if you all can sing together. Janagana Bhagavad 
भारत माता की थैंक यू ऑल सो विद दिस we come to our journey of 6 days i again request those who have not filled the overall feedback kindly do the needful thank you everyone thank you everyone thank you so much thank you ma'am have a wonderful have a wonderful weekend ahead thank you so much